Hello everybody, I'm Peter Lindstrom with the Clean Energy Resource Teams, or CERTS, and I'm here to, today to talk just a little bit about property assessed clean energy. CERTS, or the Clean Energy Resource Teams, we have an, a straightforward, simple mission to connect individuals and communities with the resources they need to do clean energy projects across the state. This is the issue which uh, is facing us today. There was a study recently done that showed there's up to a trillion dollars in savings that could be had in our public buildings and our private buildings. And the state of Minnesota rec recognizes this as an issue and has programs for both the public sector and the private sector to address this issue. And PACE, or Property Assessed Clean Energy, is one of those initiatives uh, brought forward for our businesses, nonprofits, multi-housing providers, uh, and others to take advantage of. So PACE provides low-cost, long-term financing for clean energy projects with no upfront costs. PACE is for businesses, for nonprofits, for faith communities, uh, multi-housing providers. It enables them to do energy efficiency projects or utilize renewables and pay for it as an assessment on their property tax bill. These projects are growing in popularity because there's always an energy audit component to these projects. So the auditor comes in and says, if you change out your lighting, uh, you put in some insulation, uh, new motors, pumps, you'll save $5,000 a year, for example. The energy, uh, the assessment for PACE is always going to be lower than what that uh, organization will save on an annual basis. So the energy assessment shows that they'll save $5,000. Um, the actual assessment on their property will be $3,000, for example. So commercial PACE financing or property assessed clean energy. As I mentioned, it's a way to finance energy efficiency and renewable energy projects. Uh, for buildings, uh, primarily of commercial property owners. A little bit on the loan details. PACE uh, serves energy efficiency, renewable energy, and electric vehicle charging equipment projects. The interest rate is typically 5%, and the loan uh, term, it's typically 10 years, but it can be up to 20 years. Now there's no maximum or cap that can be loaned out, um, but the one of the rules of, of PACE is that the maximum amount that can be loaned out is up to 20% of the assessed value. Whatever the county says is the assessed value of that property, 20% is the maximum that can be loaned out. A little bit about the project process. First of all, your local government has to establish property assess clean uh, energy in your area. And fortunately, um, PACE uh, is established by local governments in the vast majority uh, of Minnesota. Um, and if you're looking for more information about that, there's more information on the Clean Energy Resource Team's website uh, on where PACE is available. The business or the nonprofit submits a, an application. It's about five or six pages long, very straightforward. You do need to get lender consent if you have a mortgage on your property. Submit three years of financials uh, to the St. Paul Port Authority. Uh, they are the public entity that administers um, PACE uh, along with um, the Southwest Regional Development Commission uh, administers PACE in the southwest part of the state. Submit that application. Uh, the loan is approved. Um, you can hire whoever you wish to get the project completed. And then, uh, as I mentioned at the outset, the savings help pay the assessment. So why PACE in the first place? First of all, for the local government, uh, you, that local government is seeking to help their businesses be more successful, help their nonprofits, creating uh, jobs in the community and 
and uh, promoting sustainability. For the business, uh, paying that utility bill is, is a challenge to do on a monthly basis, and so PACE can help on that score. Um, one of the unique aspects of PACE is that you save now and you make your first payment in the following year. So you put in those new lights, the new insulation, new pumps, new motors, you, you start saving uh, when those, those items are switched on um, and uh, you don't have to make your payment, first payment until May of the following year. Just gonna cover a few case studies. This is the Blue Line Travel Center down near Worthington, right off of I-90. They had an energy assessment done and they were anticipating saving $14,000 a year on a project which encompassed the exterior lights to the Blue Line Travel Center. You can see they have a gas canopy and a lot of exterior lights which they upgraded to LEDs. They anticipated saving $14,000 a year. They're actually saving a, a considerable, considerable uh, more than, than that amount, and their assessment is considerably lower uh, at $9,000. I also wanted to mention that this, uh, this business is utilizing the PACE program um, from RMEB, the Rural Minnesota Energy Board. And they also took advantage of their utilities rebates, um, as well as what's called a REAP grant from the D U.S. Department of Agriculture Rural Energy for America program, or REAP. That's up to 25% grant uh, from the feds to help pay for this project. Also in the southern part of Minnesota, down in Mountain Lake, this is uh, an apartment complex called Parkwood Place. And uh, they did a whole ton of energy efficiency improvements, put an inch and a half thick insulation, energy efficient water heater. Uh, they utilized the Rural Minnesota Energy Board's PACE program. Again, took advantage of local uh, rebates and utilized the REAP grant from the Department of Agriculture as well. They're saving close to $10,000 a year, and their assessment is $8,700 annually. So thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for learning a little bit about Property Assessed Clean Energy. I'm happy to talk to anyone that has any further questions, and you can find my contact information on the CERTS website.